All right, I think we're back. Yep, it sure looks like it. So, hello again, everyone. Um, I am still Ren, and I am still accompanied by Moose. Hello. So, I mentioned uh, a bit earlier that Orion the Will of the Wisps was kind of a short run, sorry, compared to Blind Forest. Uh, we're gonna see that right now. This is gonna be any percent unrestricted. And once again, time is gonna start when we click on our difficulty, which is easy mode. And that's gonna be in three, two, one, go. So after a prologue skip, the first thing we're gonna do is quit to the menu to skip a small cutscene with Ori kind of calling Ku. And now the run actually starts. So as was mentioned, um, even more beautiful than the first game. Uh, a bit hard on the loading at times. Uh, this is why you can see some stutters. But that should be fine. So first trick is coming up. Uh, I'm gonna pick up this EXP orb and hover using pause. And this is gonna allow Ori to do this. He's sliding. This doesn't actually save any time, it's just funny. It loses like one second anyway. Looks very silly. Yeah. And now we're gonna pick up our best friend. Whoops. Oh. So this route that you're about to show is pretty new if I understand correctly. Uh yeah. At least parts of it. Yeah, the pause hover glitch that I mentioned is like a few weeks old at most, at least the, as far as I'm aware of. And this route is like three months old. Right, yeah. I ran this game back on release and <laughs> it did not look like this. Um, it was way longer and um, not quite as broken. It's still pretty broken. Just want to give another shout outs to Lucy for that jump I just did on the bridge. And the run is about to become very interesting soon, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang on to my good friend the Vine and quick assess prologue and alt tab and come back into the game. Uh, everything's perfectly normal right now, uh, your stream is not bugging out. Uh, the game just doesn't really have any idea what to do right now, and I'm gonna wait for a sound cue coming up. Oh, that was too early. So what this does is uh, it allows us to kind of get inside the prologue while having control of Ori. And we can do that while using a torch. And torches are really powerful in this game. So I'm not very familiar with this route. How precise is this timing window? Uh, it's basically whenever the game wants it to, but it's really rare to get it in under four tries. Okay. Spicy. Alright, there we go. And now we're somewhere. Um, I'm not exactly sure where this is, but there's an orange box in the background. So I mentioned earlier that uh, our good friend the Torch was um, here for us all the time. Our second best friend of this run is going to be this range box. Uh, it's, it's going to be the only visual cue that we have. Because uh, now we're going to do 3 minutes of Torch hovering at a very specific timing. So I'm going to uh, ask all the Frenchies in chat to play Eye of the Tiger while I do this hover because it perfectly lines up. This game really is beautiful, huh? Go. <laughs> yeah, amazing graphics right here. Yeah. Look at that smoke trail. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if you have any donations to read uh, during those two or so minutes left, so you can probably read some. <laughs> Alright, let me take a look right now. Um, Alright, we have got $10 from Scarlet R Fan. No comment, thank you so much. We've got $10 from Evoli that says God Gamers. Uh, 
I feel like we might be in heaven or somewhere in the void. So I think that might be accurate. <laughs> um, we've got $50 here from Twink. Again, no comment. Thank you so much. And an anonymous $10. Thank you again so much. We appreciate all your donations. Yeah, as a matter of fact, we are not really in the void right now. We're just on the prologue map. Uh, the, the orange bug that you're seeing is kind of prologue. And we're just really, 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 really high up. Because uh, the thing that we just did with the vine forced the game to place Ori at the wide position of the vine. And we end up really, really high. And that allows us to kind of float to um, somewhere that's really interesting. Uh, this looks like I'm a little bit high. That's fine, I can just fall a tiny bit. So you might wonder, what does this have to do with completing the game? Well, don't worry, you'll see. Um, you'll just have to trust me for now. And a visual cue coming up. Okay, this should be good. So that black box uh, is interesting to say the least and now we've completed the game. Yeah. We just uh, completed the Shriek fight. So time is not coming up right now. We still have like three minutes of cutscenes before the last input of the run. So I think if we have any time to shout people or things out, uh, now is the time. Uh, first shout out I would like to give is to the Ori and the Blind Forest randomizer that Moose mentioned uh, earlier in the Blind Forest run. Uh, it's an incredible feat that we are managing um, to make a randomizer for this game. It has some really freeform movement, you can basically go anywhere you want. And it's a really fun place, so it has a randomized site, and I earnestly suggest you to go check it out. We also have a Will of the Wisp randomizer that I'm a bit less familiar with, because um, I've played Blind Forest a lot more than I've played Will of the Wisp, but from what I've heard, it's still as good, so go play it. Definitely very good. Slightly less developed than the, the Blind Forest one, because the game is a lot newer. Yeah, I think it's still in beta. It's still very interesting. Yeah, it's still very interesting. I yeah. would highly recommend it. I would also like to give shoutouts to the French community, who have been here supporting me and yelling at me to do Baguette Jump, which I did, so there you go. And to the Ori community in general, it's a really kind community, filled with awesome people. I probably wouldn't have been running the game as long as I have if it weren't for them, so thanks to all of you. So the last movement is coming up. Uh, I'm gonna mash space so that I can, uh, so that I can uh, get on my feet or hooves, I guess, on the first possible frame. Coming up. Not prepared for this. <laughs> there we go. I mean, I had to put in some narrow hops. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. And now all we have to do is hold D. We cannot do hops in here, unfortunately. And now we see Ori's memories kind of flashing in front of him. Uh, go play this game. It's absolutely amazing. It's beautiful. The story is really well made. And the combat is an absolute blast. And time is coming up when Ori reaches Sire, which is the orange light that we saw before. Uh, should be in about like, 15 seconds or so? I'm not really familiar with how uh, they're calling this game. You can do it, Ori! And that's time. So yeah, that was Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Any percent unrestricted. The best category speedrunning has ever seen. <laughs> Definitely the most interesting. Yeah, really <laughs> interesting. <laughs> dude, dude, dude. That's awesome. So yeah, thanks to everyone for having me.
Okay.